Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, you're exquisite. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So in today's video, we are going to do a super extreme deep clean with me. Um, so I hope this video brings you tons of motivation. If it does, don't forget to give this video a big like. But I also want to announce before we get right more into this video that today's video is in collab with my friend Alice from over on Instagram and here on YouTube. And I am going to go ahead and just add this clip to let Alice introduce herself now. Hey guys, my name is Alice. My channel consists of some cleaning, organizing, decluttering, grocery haul, and home projects and makeovers. So please come on over and hang out with me once you do finish up with Irma's video. I would love for you guys to come join me and become part of my YouTube family. So please remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I look forward to seeing you all there. So thank you so much Alice for collaborating with me in today's video. So once you guys are done watching my video, make sure you guys go ahead and check out Alice's video. I will have her information linked in the description box down below. But to go on further with my video, um, I just want to start off by saying hello, welcome if you guys are new. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you guys enjoy everything you guys see over here on my channel. If you do, don't forget to give this video a like and click that subscribe button before leaving. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. Now let's go ahead and just continue with the cleaning since there is a lot that's going to be done today. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off by unloading the dishwasher since I do have a bunch of dishes to wash but I have so much to clean in this kitchen today. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all the dishes into the dishwasher which I usually do use the dishwasher but I think I wa hand wash the dishes a lot more than when I use the dishwasher. Um, but like occasions like this if I'm in a hurry or if I have other stuff to do or if I'm on a gonna go somewhere or something I just throw the dishes inside the dishwasher so that's what I'm doing here just loading the dishwasher um, and have it set to wash while I get started with everything else I have to clean up in here um, I am gonna mention there is gonna be a couple of real life moments and um, it's just like areas that I've never ever thought about cleaning in my kitchen but since I did this video I noticed that I need to start tackling those areas and those spaces a lot more so I hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you guys feel the motivation don't forget to give this video a big like still burning didn't know I missed this passion in life now I'm addicted so now let me tell you why what is up with your smile it's impossible not melting irresistible when I look through your eyes not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied stayed over the surface now I just
I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down. So here I'm just showing you guys yeah. one of the most embarrassing yeah. moments ever. So this is above our kitchen cabinets. Since we moved into the house, we've never, I actually never thought about cleaning it. Like I never looked up there, but as you can tell, it's full of dust. It does have like a little bit of grease. So I'm just going to use the awesome to spray it down to help degrease it and everything to help the cleanup process go a little bit more faster. But if you have cabinets or upper cabinets that don't reach the ceiling, um, this is kind of like a wake up call. We need to be checking those a little bit more often. So yeah, so I hope you guys get a few ideas from this video and learn a lesson or something. Um, Cause I sure did learn a lesson just by watching what I saw up there. than what I thought it was going to be and maybe if I would have added the degreaser and let it soak in for a while probably would have been a little bit more easier um but yeah but as you could tell here it's looking way more better and as I was cleaning on top of the cabinets I also wiped down the wall um from far away you couldn't see it but once I was up there you could see like there the wall was a bit dusty um I thought it was probably going to be greasy or something, but it wasn't greasy. It was just dusty up there. 
and then being up there I noticed the vent above the stove was uh, looking really dirty and greasy as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off and put it in our sink and then spray it with some more awesome let it soak for a little bit and then scrub it everything um, uh, just to see if it was cleaning or if I needed to soak a little bit longer if I needed to add some more of this Dollar Tree awesome um, degreaser but as you can tell I'm going to be showing you this in a bit when I turn it around uh, the other side was even worse I guess it's just like all the grease and everything from the stove being there and it was straight up above from my stove so yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray the other side as well and let it soak a little bit longer while I get finished over there and start cleaning my stove. I also have a place over there in my stove. You guys will see in a bit that I really never 
clean as often as I should have as well so you just see like a bunch of um, grease build up that is going to be scraped out from that part I tried looking at it and I asked my husband if the stove top came off but we did not find no way how to take the stove top part off to clean like underneath it um, so that's why I didn't open my stoves but I just tried and clean it the best I could and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to cleaning wiping down the countertops the backsplash and all of my cabinets as well so I hope you guys are enjoying this video if you guys are don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a whole lot and it lets me know that you guys enjoy watching videos like this and here is another look at up above the cabinets how they turned out as you can tell they were super super dirty at first but now they are nice and shiny again
Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better
that we hold on But now it's over It can't be over Over So 
now that I have finished cleaning up and wiping down everything on the soap side and the peninsula, now I'm moving on to the opposite side where my refrigerator is at and I'm just going to be wiping down this one little cabinet that we have here, the front of my refrigerator. As you can tell, there's handprints and everything all over there. And then I'm also going to be wiping down everything on top of the refrigerator um, since it was quite dusty as well. Better slow it down Inside my mind is getting all too loud I get scared Not used to this, not prepared Not used to this, not prepared Not prepared It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me Then I'm gonna quickly mop the floors and I just want to remind you guys if you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys felt the motivation and got more ideas to, for cleaning areas in your kitchen please don't forget to give this video a big like click that subscribe button before leaving I'd love to have you join my YouTube family don't forget to go check out Alice's video as well and get tons of motivations and all that over there as well and I'll see you on the next one bye guys Until my lungs give out your beautiful